Hi everybody, Physics Ninja here. Today I want to look at a classical example of a center of mass problem. It's the dog on a boat problem, and it looks like this. So you got a dog that has a certain mass, stands on a boat which has a larger mass than the dog, but it's not infinite. And he's originally some distance from the shore. In this case, it's going to be about 6.1 meters away from the shore. Now the dog's going to start to walk on the boat. As the dog walks in one direction, the boat's going to slightly shift to the other direction. Um, if the dog walks 2.4 meters uh, along the boat and moves closer to the shore, uh, at the end, let's find how far the dog is from the shore. If he was originally 6.1 meters away, at the end, how close is he? So remember the deal. If you like the problem, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, if you want, you could subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of cool stuff here. So let me show you how to solve this problem. All right, so these problems are all kind of the same, uh, whether it's a dog or it's a person walking on a boat. Uh, the key to this is that there are no external forces in this problem. And if that's the case, well, that the position of the center of mass is going to be a constant. Uh, if it's a constant, it means that there is no change in the position of the center of mass of the system before and then whatever the final position of the dog is the center of mass of the boat and dog combination of that system have to be the same so there is no change in the position of mass now this 2.4 meters that they give you you have to be a little bit careful here so this is going to be the displacement of the dog so I'm going to call it XD however you have to remember this is the displacement of the dog relative to the boat okay and this guy here is 2.4 meters. So the displacement of this dog relative to the boat, this here I can write down. This is only using just the geometry of the situation here. This here is the displacement of the dog uh, relative to the ground, or relative to the shore, plus the displacement of the ground relative to the boat. Now this guy over here, I can swap both of those two variables. I can swap the boat and the ground just to have everything here with respect to the ground. And if you do that, you have to swap this sign. So at the end, really what you could do is you could just rewrite the same equation over here. The displacement of the dog with respect to the ground minus the displacement of the boat now relative to the ground. And this makes sense. So he walks 2.4 meters, however, well, the boat's going to move a little bit in the opposite direction. Okay, so this is our first equation. Let's call this equation one. Now let's look at the fact that the position of the center of mass doesn't change. So let's really kind of build on this guy over here. Well, what we can do is you can write the change of the center of mass of this system. And again, everything here in my equation for the center of mass or the change of the center of mass is going to be written with respect to the ground. So it's going to be the mass of the dog multiplied by the displacement of the dog relative to the ground plus the mass of the boat multiplied by the displacement of the boat relative to the ground. So let's think about now here you can also divide by the total mass. That doesn't get you very far. And at the end it really doesn't matter because it's equal to zero. So whether you put this or not, I'm just going to get rid of it now just to keep the equations as compact as possible. So these are basically our two equations over here. Equation 1 and this here is equation 2. What I'm going to do with equation 2 now is all we have to do now is solve for these unknowns. And really, the only unknown we're really looking for really is the displacement of the dog relative to the ground. If you know that, then you can find how close he is. He was originally at 6.1 meters. You can find how close he is if you know the displacement. So really what we want to do with both of these equations is we want to eliminate the displacement of the boat relative to the ground. They're not asking for that, so we need to eliminate that. Notice in this equation, equation one, it's negative. In equation two, well, it's also multiplied by the mass of the boat, but if we divide both terms by the mass of the boat, we can eliminate that. Okay, so equation two now, we don't have to worry about this term, that's simply equal to one. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add equation one to equation two. Let me just write it out over here. 
And if I do that, well, this is what's going to happen. So you're going to be left with 2.4 on this side. 2.4, uh, or whatever distance the dog walked relative to the boat. And now, well, let's group both of these terms. You're going to have two terms now that have the displacement of the dog relative to the ground. So you have this one. And plus this other modified term, the dog relative to uh, the boat and the displacement of the dog relative to the ground. Now you could factor that out just to make this nice and neat. And this is simply one plus mass of the dog divided by mass of the boat. Displacement of the dog relative to the ground. And at last, our final equation here, just simply isolate that term. So the dog relative to the ground, its displacement is simply going to be this 2.4 divided by 1 plus uh, mass of the dog divided by the mass of the boat. Okay. Now have a look at this expression over here. This expression actually, let's make sure it makes sense physically. What happens if, well, this boat is not an 18 kilogram boat, but it's a cruise ship, which has a really, really large mass. <laughs> As the dog walks 2.4 meters this way, you'd expect that, well, the boat's basically not going to move. It has a really large mass. So the dog should have, should be 2.4 meters closer to the shore. And this is exactly what you get, right? You can imagine here if this mass of the boat is really big, if I divide by a very big number, um, this second term here is insignificant in the denominator. So at the end, the total displacement of the dog relative to the ground will be 2.4 meters. Now in our case, however, the mass of the boat is only uh, 18 kg. So you actually have to substitute those numbers in here. So what you're gonna get here is the dog relative to the ground is 2.4, one plus uh, 4.5 over 18. Substitute everything in here. You get approximately 1.9 meters which means that if you started out at 6.1 meters away from the shore, uh, at the end, what you're gonna be doing, at the end, you're actually only going to be, well, you're gonna be 1.9 meters closer, so you're really gonna be 4.2 meters away from the shore. All right, 6.9 minus my 1.9, no, 6.1 minus 1.9 gives me my 4.2 meters. Okay, so that's the correct answer for this problem here. Kind of a standard problem. You do need two equations and you do have to be a little bit careful on how you write down some of these displacements. Make sure you write them down relative to uh, what's discussed in the problem. So this 2.4 is really along the boat. So it's really relative to the boat. It's not relative to the ground. So be a little bit careful with that. All right, that's it for me, folks.